Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to day 6 of Kanga's week. And today we'll be going through the Kanga storage mod. And you might think to yourself, wow, really even a Kanga storage mod you have to go through. Don't worry, this Kanga storage mod is actually pretty interesting and actually is pretty useful if you set it up correctly. So let's go each, let's go through each of the item. First up is this here. This is the warehouse shelving. The warehouse shelving can be used or rather, can be used to basically put down all of these items on it. Uh, it also can be stacked uh oops near it like infinitely as you can tell. Look at that. And yes, as I said previously, it is used to store all of these uh boxes and items. Next is this item here, the cage or uh the structure cage structure. This particular structure, or this animal crate, sorry, they didn't see the name there. This animal crate can be used to store animals like this dodo bird here. I'm gonna pick it up and put it in. Now, not only the dodo bird can be placed inside, the following creatures can also be placed inside this particular animal crate. Any aberration like pets, the Akatina, the snail, Compies, Dimorphodons, Dodo Birds, Dung Beetles, Hesperonis, uh, Ictiornis, Jerboas, Kairuku, Mesopithecus, Microraptors, Otters, Pegomastec, Sinomacrops, and Vultures. All of these creatures can be placed inside this small little cage here and keep the little creatures safe. Next is this. This is the general storage item for the uh, Kanga mod. Basically, just a normal workable storage. Nothing too new, nothing too bad about it. Next is the preserving bin, uh, which also can be placed on the shelving. Uh, it is to use is used as a normal preserving bin to preserve consumables. Mm, also, not much special things about it. Now, this is the dynamic individual storage. Very different from the general storage. This particular storage box can be customized in all these kind of different colors and the most important part is that this item needs to be used with this particular item here down here the loading zone i will explain to you further later next up is the storage shed the storage shed is basically a bigger version of this dynamic individual storage which i'll go into further depth later Next up is this egg basket. This is not just a decoration. This is a useful uh, decoration. As I'm going to show you. Over here, you can see that I have this Allosaurus egg that lasts for 7 days. If I put it inside this uh, egg basket here, it will increase to 39 days. So yeah, it will basically increase the uh, spoil time just exponentially next up is this seed sack as the name suggests it is used to store seed it also increases the spoil, uh, the spoil time of it from now around 3 minutes uh, 46 seconds to one whole day and seven hours now i'm going to explain uh this particular item uh the dynamic individual storage and this storage shed so as you can see, uh, all of these have a logo appear on it. This particular uh, logo, or rather this particular like item logo on it, is actually set once uh, on the first item that I put inside. For example, if I put the animal crate inside, it will be it will show the animal crate. And what's so special about it? Well, if you pair it with the loading zone, and one more thing to note is that. Uh, the loading zone requires line of sight. However, you can disable that in the INI settings of the game. So, when paired with the loading zone, I uh, it basically works as though it's a quick sorting feature for the game, which is heavily needed in ARC for the longest time. So, as you can tell, I placed all these different kind of berries into the storage boxes. And... I not this guy, but I have a Stegosaurus here filled to the brim with all different kinds of berries and seeds. All you need to do is uh first uh first put down 
the first item or rather the sorting item that you want to put inside the boxes into each of these individual boxes and second put the loading zone down next put your creature into the loading zone and tada all the items are sorted i have harvested way too much berries but if you look over here all of the berries has been basically sorted into these individual boxes and obviously with the shelvings like this very fucked up shelving that i made you can stack up all of it very close by to the loading zone and you can basically make a very easy to uh easy deposit system for it and similar to the dynamic individual boxes this storage shed also shares this uh, property except these boxes can hold only 30 spaces which is uh, not good if you want to you know collect many like many items for example even carry a lot of berries but uh, this one can hold 10 times the amount holding up to 300 of the individual items and it works the same way in this uh, iguanodon i have some wood and that storage shed is uh, is now uh, set to collect wood and if I have to walk on it this particular unloading sign will appear and done it is no longer in my inventory and it's now inside the storage shed which is here now apparently I have no idea why I actually have no idea why also I have no idea what uh, exploded but yeah that would be the end of this mod showcase L L right is a little bit short but uh, short is good as this means it means it's simple to understand. So hopefully you can use this mod to enhance your storing capabilities in the game. And this has been Kasu and I hope to see you guys in day 7 of Kenga Week. Bye!